okay? And it really is making one. What it does is it allows you to have wires that go side by side and naturally insulate because their harmonics, their resonance is so perfect that they don't short circuit out. Okay? Everyone follow that? Okay, Charlie doesn't. Does it have to be at a specific angle? Everything has to be at a specific oh, angle. The whole th secret of this whole thing is angle and ratio. Okay, that's what numbers are. They have geometric functions that are spatial and temporal, which is in your, your worksheet. Let's see. Can I have that worksheet right there? Seven, three, seven, three, seven, three, seven, three, seven. Okay. Uh, can I have that worksheet right there? This one, yes. So here's some notes, and what does it explain? Where's the one, one, one? Yeah. The eight? I don't get the one, one, one. Here, here it says it very clearly. Numbers are relatives. Each number exists only in relationship to all other numbers. The relationship is spatial and temporal, which is angle and ratio. There's many other things that this explains. Thank you. Angle for you is time, isn't it? Um, he was first. He did it first. Yell it loud. What do you mean by temporal? Related to time? Yes. Um, Let's, let's, the timing, only one sixth of this coil is ever activated in one instance. These charts actually reflect what time is and explain it in that regard. Um, let's see which chart that would be. Um, right now, in this chart over here, okay. Only our 396s are activated, okay? See how just our 396s are activated? Okay, uh, well, I'm actually showing the 9s, but 9s are always activated when the 396. I'm showing how everything spins around. Let me find, let me find the family number group 147, which is a little bit easier. Oh, here we go. I accidentally put it on upside down. Here we're showing 147 on the outside of the toroid. See how just one winding and it would be this 147 and that 147. Do you follow what I'm saying? Remember that family group is on? Yeah. Okay. And it's always separated by thirds in every direction. See? One, then one, two, three. Okay? Diagonally, it's always, it would be 147. They would all be on at the same time. So diagonally, we're thinking that everything's on on this wire. 147. They're all on. When this one's activated. Okay? Now, Let's see what it looks like from the top of the toroid. You can see all the windings, 147, are on. It's a little upside down, but and there's that wire. It's just one wire is on right now. And what it's doing is it's showing motion, how things move, because when it goes off and the next family number group moves, things move through the space. It's like the rest cycle. They don't have to be energized all the time. You know, we, we turn on our rockets. They blast it. We only have to turn on our jet packs for like three seconds and we keep them shooting through space. So these tiles are energized and then they're turned off and then you jet through to the next tile and you come out to the next space where it'll be energized again. Okay? So sure enough, so here you see in this wire it's all positive 714s. Now what are, where are all the other 714s? They're all negative. They're all on the other wire. Now when we go to the next stage, which I didn't do a board because it's just too many boards to do, it would have been 285 would have been positive, which is the next wire. Here's a positive 2, positive 8, positive 5. And what about the 285s? They're all negative over here. So this wire becomes positive. Do you follow what I'm saying? Say yes or no. Is there one no in here who doesn't follow? Okay, there's one, two, three. Okay. I'm going to explain to you another way. I'm going to explain to you on the big board. Let's try and work on the big map. Okay. We're only interested about what is on where. Right now, 1, 4, and 7 are on, okay, in this wire, which is also the same as all these other wires where there's a 1, 4, 7, which is all the same wire wound in a star. We all understand that? Okay. 
Now the next family, now that doesn't stay on forever because these little BBs shooting out. I'm really showing you them puncturing the skin and disappearing into the outer uh, space. They're only on when the surface of the toroid is hit by the z-axis, as you mentioned in the very beginning, uh, with dimension. It's, going in, it's kind of weaving in and out. What, right. this toroid? Yeah, well, in, in, terms of, in terms of the numbers, it's skipping over the, uh, the other group. Well, we'll, see. well, let's go to 258. The next family number group that's activated is not 147, but it's going to be 258. And they're all over here in the opposite wire. So this wire is totally off. And when this wire was on, it was all negative 147s in that wire, so the other wire was off. So right now we got this total wires are all on. While this total wire is now all off. So only one wire is ever on when the other ones are off. The right one or the left one? Does everyone follow that now? So they're not both going at the same time? They're not both going at the same time. So they're alternating? They're not even alternating because it's based on thirds. Because then when this one's off, okay, this one's on, the space where there's nothing. Okay? So there's no resistance. And that's why there's no resistance. Okay, and then it comes back to, so this is all on along here. The 396s are all on. But then it goes three space further and then... And then it comes back to the 147s again. So this one, these are all on, and then these are all on, and then the spaces are all on. And I wish I had sequence and charts to show it neater to you, but I think you follow. There probably are some charts. So I just had a little flash here. The um, zero one, um, you know, computer system that is most of it's based on is kind of like in the mode two alley. It's this or that, off or on. When you, you base on three and nine. It three creates, and six. Yeah, it creates, three and six. It creates a current that doesn't stop because it's uh, more harmonic. Um, three, nine, and six oscillate. Zero and one doesn't even exist. Mm. They think it exists, yeah. and they think they're making it work. It's like saying, um, "We think we're more." To, well, what would be a good analogy? I don't want to give an analogy that's wrong. Let's just say <laughs> their concept of zero and one is is just their way of saying this is what we're doing and this is how it works. It has nothing to do with math. It has nothing to do with electricity. It has nothing to do with good computations. They need to think in terms of trinity rather than duality. Yeah. Right. I, that's what I'm saying. Instead of like dark light, the, you know, seeing the, those extremes, it's looking at it as yeah. uh, trinity. When, when they build the new computers with this uh, system, would the computers be able to be creative and imaginary as we are? Artificial oh, intelligence. Wow, yeah. that's a good idea. <laughs> well, okay, let's take his question. Okay. Say his question real loud one more time while I look for the chart. Let's see, when the, when the, new, when the new computers start using this tertiary system of, what, 3, 6, and 9, mm -hmm. would they be able to be imaginative and creative as we are. Here we go, we found it. Artificial intelligence. Add infinite magnification. The toroid is recursive. Okay. Um, Quantum mechanical effects can be duplicated on a microscopic level utilizing this toroidal model process. Okay. Um, underlying coherence, artificial intelligence, using the triassurary system that you set. So let's see how it works. Okay. A fractal, was, would a fractal, Judy, you mentioned a fractal, would a fractal be artificial intelligence? Because it's self-similar, it duplicates yes, itself from it micro to macro. Yes, it has an element of uh, novelty, so I'd say it is. Okay, would you accept that as an answer? I didn't get that. Can you come back? There's, see, the, the thing with the, uh, artificial intelligence is that it has an input, you put your input into it, but it also can create things from that, mm -hmm. so it, it can problem solve. Mm -hmm. But it has a, a point that's not... It can't be figured in, which is called novelty, I think, or something like that. It's like there are other things that it can think of besides what it's what's been put into it. Mm -hmm. 
let's say artificial intelligence, so let's start defining our, our artificial intelligence. Let's start to say that, first of all, artificial intelligence is the fact that we have a fountain here, and it's making a little water vortex, okay? But we have a tornado, and it's the same intelligence, but on a bigger scale, a, a vortex. And let's say we have a solar system, which is our galaxy and our planets and the suns, and they're spiraling in a spiral of a vortex system, which is our galaxy and our planets and the suns, and they're spiraling in a spiral of a vortex. That's, would that be artificial intelligence, one definition? That it can be the same principle from small to big, big to small. Mm -hmm. Okay? And we do know that those three knowledges were the same. So let's look and see if this does the same principle. So, so it won't, let's, won't be too easy, but here are 7 times 7, 49 tiles. It's the same tiles. One, two, I think I'd better show it here. Can you erase what you have? Yeah, this I hate to say it, I can't. It takes a special spray and it takes a lot of elbow effort. Uh, That's okay. the problem. I'll try and work right over here. How's this? That's good. Well, why don't I change colors? Well, I don't know how well it'll come off. Should I go to black? Uh, Let's see what happens with it. Doesn't it doesn't come off. But it's not no, I mean, it comes off. I mean, it can go off on this one. Okay. It's just true and false. It either is or it isn't. Here we go. But, well, that's okay. the, the that's not Got to start way up there. That's the that's the okay. Remember the pattern that really made this? We did the multiplication series and everything, but it really the most important thing, I think, is these doubling circuits and the 396, 39, and the, okay, everyone follow me? So we have three, we have two things, the doubling circuits and the 396, 693. Really three things, but I'm just lumping the doubling circuits together. Okay. So let's, and remember it's going one, two, four, eight, seven, five, and it's making this pattern over and over again. Okay, I think this would be kind of fun. Okay. So I'm going to draw, it's kind of hard for me to do. How many have I done there? Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Black's pretty hard to see. Black's worse. Do you have green? No, I should. I wish I did have green. I think I better buy a green. Okay, let's do red. Okay. I mean blue. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Is someone laughing? What was that? You said you need some fruit. All right. Thanks. Let's see here. Okay, let's see here. Hey, I accept. What kind? There's a banana. You do banana trick. Okay, banana trick time. Okay, watch this. We were all going to go to dinner tonight after I was going to invite everybody to what restaurant, Bob? Raw Experience. Yeah. The Raw Experience. Yeah. Okay, is this yeah. banana? Does it look round? It's too late. It looks very okay. good. <laughs> Whatever. You're going to want it after my little cuddlies go all over <laughs> my finger? I could get about 20 of them. Where? You can eat that many? No, but for everyone. You know, just How can you do that? Now look, you see I'm squishing it? Is everyone watching this? I'm, I'm making it malleable. Is that malleating it? And watch how it breaks. Oh, I do this all the time. You, you play with your food all the time? No, but I do this, I don't know why. It's a banana I, split. Yeah, the funny thing is, is <laughs> no, no. all so the stuff, stuff that you show me, me it just, it's so innate. It's so, it's, it's so, like, what do you call it? In, oh, intrinsic or something. <laughs> it's just, you know it. When you say and you explain this stuff, it's like you go, oh, of course, that's when I was like three years old staring at the floor and I saw all these patterns within the tile on the floor and you go, you know what I mean? It's well, three like, parts. I know, I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> you remember when you were three year old staring at the floor? Staring at the thing and going, oh, there's something really there, but I don't know what it is. It's a pretty it, good it, memory. It, it probably, that's what it happens here. You're just reading the floor. It's like you're just like diving down. Uh, right. <laughs> My threes. So we agree, we, we're back to thirds again? Okay. So much for the banana experiment. It would actually make me tired. I, I don't eat till I'm done presenting. Oh, well. So what was your original question here? How does this relate to I'm not gonna eat it. artificial intelligence? Um, yeah. Well, I just... But you just outlined a circuit there, so you might as well... I mean, you outlined a 5, five by 5 grid. Right, which is the artificial intelligence. Wow. We're, we're coming to that. Okay. Let's see. I, I don't really think that the computer could do that, though, you know, because the element that it would be missing is what you said at the very beginning, was love. 
and uh, a computer that's trying to think for itself that doesn't have the element of love 